and then have the input of the group to decide what's the most preferred place that everyone would like to do. So some way to find consensus because people could be indecisive. So eat meat comes in to save the day. Um, so, uh, uh, so the concept is we have uh, people, uh, you could nominate and you could, uh, your selection, where do you want to eat after you search through the search bar. Um, and uh, then once you get the nominations, you nominate, everyone gets one nomination, and then everyone could vote. One trick with the voting is you're allowed to vote for three different options. Your first choice getting three points, your second choice getting two points, your third choice getting one point. So therefore, you have to you know, entertain other people's options. Um, and so that finds a better consensus near the end. Uh, and so, um, in the design process, we, use, we the main thing, of course, we find APIs that are free. Uh, we all had problems finding uh, information uh, from uh, things like Yelp that uh, shut us down. Um, so we uh, uh, just wanted a, the point of just having a simple search bar uh, uh, in the nav bar, um, just everything done by tapping. The whole point, we certainly wanted to have responsive and made, made it most likely easiest to use uh, via uh, phones. Um, we used uh, a lot of modals in order to things to, to kind of uh, direct uh, the traffic um, and uh, things like uh, you know bootstrap to make it responsive. Um, and so shall we move? Yeah. And I also attempt to do that. Um, we used a couple APIs and frameworks. Um, the most important being the Foursquare API. We wanted to use Elf, or Yelp. We couldn't get it to work at first, and we had to stick with what we stuck with. Um, we used the Google Map API to populate a map that shows the different nominations, so you can see their relative distance from each other. Um, a large part of our styling relies on Bootstrap, and a large part of our JavaScript relies on jQuery, which I'm sure is true across most projects. Um, we also use the Firebase real-time database in order to keep track of the voting stages and process and um, pushing things to the ballots and things like that. We tried hosting it on Firebase as well and found some good success with that. We also used Google Fonts and Font Awesome for some of our icons and custom styling. Um, and with our Foursquare Ajax calls, we ran into the problem that some other groups had where um, we needed to greatly multiply the number of calls we had to make. So we had to make one call to get a list of restaurants based on geography, um, push those into an array, and then each individual restaurant required a further Ajax call to get its restaurant information. All right, so uh, we did our best to hit all the benchmarks uh, for the project. Uh, we went through a few APIs uh, we tried uh, using uh, Survey Monkey, uh, we tried uh, using uh, MapQuest. Uh, we had issues with uh, either paid subscriptions or course implementation. So we ended up using Foursquare and Google Maps APIs. Uh, Ajax calls uh, to pull data from uh, Foursquare API. Uh, in new technologies, we use uh, Firebase hosting and Hover CSS to improve uh, our UI. Uh, on the front end, we use Bootstrap. Uh, Fawn Awesome, jQuery, uh, we uh, basically did our best to stick to the coding standards. Uh, we used modals uh, instead of uh, alert windows. Uh, in repeating elements, we used cards for nomination and voting. Uh, and the only uh, rubric that we did not implement was uh, user, uh, user input validation because we uh, found that a lot of uh, restaurants and uh, bars have names that involve symbols and numbers, so we did not want to restrict uh, the user in that sense. Right. So um, we did use a couple of new technologies. Actually, all of these pretty much were new technologies. Um, Firebase was an interesting one, and um, Firebase hosting. It is actually a very easy uh, static web server to use. It's something like uh, Google. Uh, not Google. It's something like S3. It's something like uh, how we're using GitHub Pages, Netlify. Great for using static websites. We also in, uh, used Hover CSS because our interface is very plain. 
um, we, we want it, it's just buttons and a search and a map, so there's not much to it. So using Hover CSS was really cool because it gave us a little bit of interest uh, when you hovered over the button. So um, we used, you know, Font Awesome because it's everything is kind of identifiable. We all know the search, we all know the gear, we all know what the reload button looks like. So um, Hover just kind of brought some of that to the forefront. Um, this is how our app looks on iPhones or phones, period. There's always a map at the bottom. Philadelphia is the central. We kind of locked it down to our city. Uh, this is how it looks on an iPad where you uh, made your nominations or someone has made a nomination and uh, you can make your votes. Uh, those are the icons up top that I was talking about where you search. The gear is for adding your um, API key in secret and then of course the reset is to reset all of the um, information out of the database. And this is how it looks on a desktop and future implementation. Is that me? Oh, okay, sorry. All right, uh, future implementation. I think we fast forwarded a little bit. Um, we wanna have a landing page. We also wanna have like a winner's page where you can see who won. We also wanna integrate Firebase authentication, which is actually pretty sweet, um, and add favorites. So you can save your favorite restaurants. Um, display, when the ballot comes up, you get a modal, it tells you who won. We want people to know how many votes each restaurant got, so we want to implement that. Um, sometimes, I think Andrew mentioned, when you're missing properties off of an object, it does some really weird things. We had the same thing happen with us. Um, a lot of data, a lot of information is not input into Foursquare. And lastly, for our must-have, we definitely want our maps to generate. Um, when your noms come in, we want to know uh, how far you are from your uh, restaurants you're choosing. Nice to have would be a bill split calculator because we all know when you go out with your friends, someone doesn't have cash and we want to use a split calculator to split the bill and use one of the pay services so you can pay your friend back. So, now we're going to demo time. Demo we're going to try it out. Um, Here we go. The number, all the voting right. is kind of based on how many people are connected and we've had some weird connection number issues. All right, so we're going to go with the one that's hosted on uh, GitHub. GitHub. So we already entered our credentials. Um, like you said, you, we have it so you can enter your client ID in secret. We're just going to go past that. So Andrew, what do you what do you want to do? I want to eat tacos. So you can't see this, but I've searched tacos. Three things come up, and I'm going to nominate my choice, and it appears on the page. I want steak because why not steak? I'm and I'm and I'm balling. So we're going to Del Frisco's. <laughs> How about you, Rob? What do you want? Well, the app is um, called Eat Me, but we could still um, we could still have vegetarian options. Vegetarian in the house, all right. Uh, I'm in the mood for pizza. So let's see that. And I'll get this. All right. Well, we've all nominated. All right. We put our nominations in. Now it's time to vote. We all get three choices. Again, first vote, the heaviest, three points, less. Next is two, next is one. So everyone, place your votes. Because I'm balling. <laughs> Gonna go there. All right, everybody put your votes in. And the colors change depending on uh, first, second, and third. Oops, maybe I didn't click, I'm sorry. Did I not click? Mm. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, well. Can we do a reset? Sure. Let's try it one more time. Let's do it again. Let's go really fast. Something's really weird here. All right, let's do it again. Steak. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hit reset. It. Okay. It has to go down to zero and back up to four. So you know that you're connected. I'm going steak again. I'm going to go for skills. Waiting for one more. Uh-oh, we're over our query limit. Nope, oh, nope, no That's baby. right. No baby. All right, noms in, everybody vote. All right, well, we uh, have never done this with an iPad before, so <laughs> that may have something to do with it. Normally what happens is another modal comes up, it displays 
the winner, the map repopulates so that there's only one pin on it that shows the winning uh, restaurant location, and there's a link to... A link to the restaurant. A link to, yeah, a Foursquare page for the restaurant. Yep. And then by hitting refresh, um, it empties the database and reestablishes all the connections to the database so that voting can start over again. So, that's, that's it. That's eat me.